And the last thing that I want to show you now as we go through this is a little bit about saving and exporting. Um, the first thing that you need to be doing is you need to go File, Save As, and you're going to save your project within your project folder. I'm just going to put this in my desktop, but you should already have a project folder that this is going into. So I'm going to save it there, and then I'm going to give it a meaningful name. I'm going to call this one Project 1. And uh, you can add some more to it so you know what it is, Pullman School District or whatever. Um, you might not, it might not hurt to add your name as well. Uh, so now I can see that the project file name is right here. Now this is interesting. Notice how that just changed and there's a star. Anytime there's a star in that title, that means that it has not been saved, or there's been a change since the last save. So just be aware of that. Now I've saved my base file. It has everything, it's editable, I can go back to it, and it's important to continue to save this um, as I go throughout my project. So that's all set up, and now what I'm going to do is you need to have both a JPEG and a PDF version of this same project. And so we're going to go to File, Export, and Create our JPEG. It's really easy to do. I'm just going to come down here and choose what it is. I'm going to choose JPEG, and I'm going to hit Save. Now in this screen, I can change my settings for how big the file is. Um, normally, 96 will be just fine if you're going to be putting it out on Twitter and things like that. If you need to print from the JPEG file, then you want to bump that up to 150 or 300. Um, if it's, especially if it's for like a client, you want to be at 300. But if we're just posting this online on Twitter and stuff like that, choose 96. Medium quality is fine. Baseline, don't worry about changing any of those. Hit export and bingo, that is set up now for you. Now I need to get a PDF. That's easy to do. Let's go to File, Export, and this time, let's just choose Adobe PDF. We're gonna choose Interactive because it's a smaller file size. I'm gonna hit Save, and it, we can choose all of it, or some of it, none of it, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm not worried about it. And bingo, it has now created my PDF for me, and I can see that PDF popping up. Um, if you see fonts and things like that not showing up, then that means that your font has copyright issues and cannot be used in a PDF format. In that case, it's best to cut your losses and find a different font. But now I'm set up with my PDF and my JPEG, and I have my original file that I can go back to, which is very, very important. All right, I can't wait to see what you come up with.